Hi guys, in this video we're going to talk about depth perception. Uh, we're going to talk about what depth perception is and how we uh, perceive depth. Uh, we're then going to look at the different depth perception in predators and prey animals. So firstly, depth perception is our ability to perceive how deep or far away from us something is. Now the way that we get this is with binocular vision. So this means we have two eyes that are looking at the same thing. And these eyes focus on an object at the same time and give us uh, this stereoscopic, okay, stereo meaning two, scopic meaning scope or eye, uh, vision with a three-dimensional aspect to it so that we can see this depth. We know where the things are closer to us or further away from us. Now the way that this stereoscopic vision results in depth perception is that each of these eyes are in its own unique position. So they're a couple of inches away from each other. Uh, so each of the eyes actually gets a slightly different view of the world, uh, it, even though they're focused on the same thing. Uh, so if you look at these five pins, if they're all lined up directly in front of your head, the left eye is going to see the left side of those pins and the right eye is going to see the right eye of those pins, or the right side of those pins rather. Uh, so this gets merged in your brain into a uh, image where these four, five pins are lined up in front of each other and the front one's a little bit closer to you than the one at the back. Now you can see this yourself. If you hold up your finger uh, in front of your face and about uh, a foot or 30 centimetres away and you close one eye and then open it and close the other eye, you can actually see that finger uh, moving in relation to the things behind it. So these are these two separate images that the brain gets and then merges into that uh, three-dimensional picture. Uh, now this image here is an image of a dog and it has been taken from these two perspectives. And it merges, as I said, it merges these two perspectives in to give the uh, illusion of depth. Uh, and you should actually be able to uh, look at this, if you pause the video, and look at these two pictures and sort of uh, stare through the screen, kind of like doing a magic eye, uh, you should be able to get your head into a position fairly easily where you can see a three-dimensional dog uh, and just this one picture that's merged together, or you might see uh, actually when you focus on it, three pictures, um, but the, and the middle one will be the three-dimensional one. Uh, so if you want to pause the video, go ahead and do that now. Now the evolutionary advantage of having this three-dimensional vision is really good for predators. It means that if we've got something in front of us that we want to eat or we want to throw a spear at, uh, we are going to be able to tell how far away from us that is. So if we're, say, lunging for it, or as I said, throwing a spear, uh, that how far away it is is going to be a very important thing. The downside to this uh, stereoscopic vision with our two eyes is that, yes, in the front of us, we have very good vision with that depth perception, but we have a really large blind zone to our back. Now, this is fine for predators. However, on the other hand, prey, having eyes on either side of their head, uh, they can actually see much uh, wider field of view and can, in some species, such as rabbits, uh, actually see pretty much behind their head so they can see any prey that's sneaking up on them. The downside to this is that they can't see with that great clarity um, or that depth perception things that are directly in front of them. Now this doesn't matter because their prey doesn't jump around and isn't going to run away from them. Uh, in this video we've talked about depth perception being uh, the illusion uh, in our minds of how far away something is, giving us a little bit of in extra information there. Um, we've talked about how we get it by having a stereoscopic vision, uh, both of those eyes focusing on the same thing but with a slightly different view because of where they are situated in space uh, and then the brain merges these two together. This has the evolutionary advantage of for predators who are trying to catch and kill things. Uh, however, prey don't need it as much. They are much better off having a much larger field of view so that they can see where those predators are coming from. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.